Prime stocks that are growing absolutely massively. That is what we are doing here today, guys. These videos are always fun to make. Growing companies that are growing their businesses much bigger. Now, I actually threw in a bonus stock, so we're technically doing six stocks that are growing massively here. And what I mean by growing massively is they gotta be growing revenues at a 20% clip at least currently, okay? So a minimum of 20% revenue growth currently. And so that's what we're getting into. A couple of these stocks are actually international stocks. The other ones are more US-based companies. And I made sure I got companies across a many different sectors. So there's some in, in this sector over here, some in this sector, very different companies. I hope you guys really enjoy this. Hit a thumbs up if you do. By the way, if you're not already in my stock market membership group, make sure you get in there now. It's the third link in the description. The price is going up to $99 a month starting on March 1st for anyone who is not already in there. So make sure you get in there ASAP, guys. The first stock here is Baidu. Baidu, over the past year, this stock is up around 32%. So it's had a very good past year here. Now, Baidu, they're out of China, and I call them basically the Google of China. They got a huge search business, okay? They also have a transactions business and things like that. They also have video platforms. They have mobile games, Baidu Wallet, a lot of different things there. Now, this company is expected in the current quarter to grow revenues at around a 25% clip, okay? Next quarter, around 20 22%. The current year, they're expected to have almost 23% revenue growth. And for next year, they're expected to have almost 21% revenue growth. Now, if we look at the EPS numbers here, okay, they're expected to do around a $9.47 in the current year. And then next year, huge growth up to around $11.80 in 80 cents of EPS expected there, all right? Now, if we look at the trailing P and the forward P, they're actually not bad considering the growth this company has, right? Trailing P on this one of around 29, a forward P of close to 21 in this company. So in the type of market conditions we're in where you know, stocks on general just have, you know, 23 plus four P's. For this one, that's got very nice growth and that's already a huge company. To have a 21, that's actually relatively low. So not a bad one there. NVIDIA, NVIDIA, this is a stock that has made investors so much money over the past few years. It is absolutely insane. Just in the past year, the stock is up 127%. 120% gain in just the past year. If you look at the three-year chart, it's up somewhere around 1,000% or so. It's unbelievable really. So NVIDIA, is, uh, basically they got the GPU business, they got the Tegra business. They're into so many different industries, you know, things that are used from gaming. Obviously, that's like the first thing you think of gaming, professional visualization, data center, automotive markets, a lot of different markets around that, um, you know, self-driving cars, all that type of stuff. Now, in the current quarter for this company, they're expected to do sales growth of around 49%, so almost a 50% clip there for revenue growth in the current quarter. They're also benefiting from cryptocurrency right now in a big way. Next quarter, they're expected to grow around 32%. Current year, they're expected to grow around 27.5%. However, next year, they're expected to grow around 14.5%. Well, I would just kind of caution some people in NVIDIA stock, just realize sometimes when companies go from, you know, growing at 30%, 20%, you know, high 20s like this, and then they go down to like that, that teen area, you know, 14%. Uh, sometimes those stocks can get hammered. I'm not saying that's gonna necessarily happen with NVIDIA. I just say be careful if you're in stocks like that. Ones that are growing massively and then they just kinda, you know, the, their growth stalls a bit. And who knows, maybe NVIDIA, maybe those numbers are low and they can grow 20 plus percent. Just wanna caution some people on that there. Now, if we look at EPS here, okay? EPS of around $6.28 expected for the current year. Next year, they expect to do around $7.26, so a very big bump up there. And then if we look here on the trailing PE, about 50 on the trailing PE, so pretty high. Forward PE of around 33. But when you have as much going for a, a company like NVIDIA has going for them, right? Sometimes you, you command a higher forward PE than other companies out there. That's just the bottom line. iRobot, in the past year, iRobot is up around 19%. Now this company, they have a few different business lines, but the main business line they have is their Roomba vacuum cleaners. They also have a Brava uh, floor cleaner for hard floors. They also have a pool cleaner, but the business is pretty much dominated by their Roomba vacuum cleaner. So sales growth in the current quarter expected to be around almost 28%. Then if we look at next quarter, it's expected around 20% revenue growth. In current year, they're expected to do around 21% revenue growth. And then if we look at next year, 
They're expected to do around 16.6% revenue growth. So their revenue growth is slowing a bit, but still, even if you look at the next year, that's still pretty strong revenue growth there, 16.6%. Now, if we look here, as far as the, the analyst expectations for earnings per share, $2.30 expected for this current year, all the way up to over $3 of earnings per share expected for next year. So that's very strong growth there. And then if we look here, trailing PE of 37 on this company, forward PE of 22, so relatively low forward PE considering the growth this company has. Um, obviously there's some worries about the company as far as Chinese competition and whatnot. Whenever you're in that hardware game, you're selling hardware products, there's always gonna be you know Chinese competitors coming in there, you know, somebody trying to undercut your prices and things like that. So it is a worry with the company. Alibaba, another Chinese company here. So we already mentioned Baidu, which is a Chinese company, Alibaba. In my opinion, they're kind of like the, I call them the Amazon of China. Um, you know, they do a lot of similar things. They're a little bit different businesses, but they do a lot of similar things to Amazon. So if you understand Amazon's business model, you will understand Alibaba's very well. They also have, uh, you know, a huge business, which is called AliExpress, which is used in a, in a big way in drop shipping and things like that. By the way, if you guys ever want me to do a drop shipping 101 bit, uh, like video, I can teach you guys that. It's up to you. Let me know in the comment section. So Alibaba here, expect to do around 52% revenue growth in the current quarter. 52%, this company is massive guys. They're expected to do around 52% revenue growth, around 47% revenue growth expected in the next quarter. Current year expected to have around 56% revenue growth. And then next year expected to do just over, or pretty close to 40% revenue growth next year guys. Unbelievable numbers there. Now they're expected to do around $5.26 of earnings per share in this current year. That's versus $3.69 last year. And then next year expected to do around $6.72. Something I look, like to look at is like, what is the two year as far as what their EPS is supposed to do versus you know last year versus what it's supposed to do next year. $3.69 to uh, $6.72, that's almost a double up there, guys. That's very, very impressive. Now, trailing P in this company of 45, Forward P of 27, once again, that's not a super high forward P on this company. When you consider the growth they have, 50% revenue growth expected, guys. That's unreal, and to be at a forward P of 27, it's not bad at all, not bad at all. Zillow, Zillow stock number five, and then we'll do the bonus stock after this. Zello, for most of you guys who have ever bought a house or you know, you're looking to rent a house or something like that, um, you probably use a Zillow app. If not, you probably use a Trulia app. If not, you probably use realestate.com. They own all those businesses, guys. They own all those businesses. Um, so their, their business is very unique in the respect that, you know, pretty much no matter what, when you're going to look for a house or, or to rent or buy, like pretty much you're gonna you be using one of their services. Now, this company has around 20% revenue growth expected in the current quarter around 23% expected next quarter, current year expected around close to 22%, and then next year expected around 18.2% revenue growth. Now, if we look here, their earnings, so not much for earnings, but it is going up, and that's a good sign. So uh, they're gonna supposed to do around 85 cents in the current year, all right, versus last year, they did around 53 cents. Next year, they expect to do around $1.18. So huge bump up there in earnings per share. They don't have a trailing P on this company currently, but a four P of just under 40. Very unique business, and they kind of have a monopoly around, you know, basically an average person searching for a house or something out there. And there's always a possibility that maybe transactions someday could go through their services and whatnot. Very interesting business, so let's put it that way. Tesla is the bonus stock here, so Tesla is just kind of going to take over the whole car market, as we know. One year chart on this one, they're up around uh, close to 25% in the past year. Um, obviously, the cars is their main business, but they also have, a, you know, a solar type business there. Look at the numbers on this one, okay? So revenue growth expect in the current quarter of just around 30%. But then next quarter bumps up to around 52%, all right? And then current year, they're expected to have around 65% revenue growth, okay? Next year, expected around you know 38% revenue growth there. Absolutely amazing. Now, unfortunately, this business is losing a lot of money currently. The current year, they expect to lose around $6.15. Next year, somehow, analysts expect this company to be profitable with $2.42. I would say just don't hold your breath on that. Don't hold your breath on you know the hope that they will become profitable. I think 
think they're gonna really take over the auto market, but don't hold your breath on them. They're gonna be a profitable company anytime soon, in my opinion. Trailing P on this one, they don't have it. Obviously, they're not profitable. And then if they can eat out that profit, they would uh, be at a forward P of around 138. A lot of people always ask me, why don't you buy Tesla stock? You believe in the company. I know I've been talking about Tesla for probably close to two years on the channel and how they're gonna dominate the auto market and this and that. People always ask me, how come you, you, you can't get in Tesla? Well, I don't like to really invest in, in non-profitable businesses. They're obviously losing a massive amount of money right now. I don't see that turning around anytime soon. And you can say, oh, even if they are supposed to get to profitability, 138 Ford P, that's a little bit high for me there, guys. That's a little bit high for me. So anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Six stocks that are, you know, have high growth going for them, 20 plus percent clips. We, we mentioned a couple Chinese stocks and the other ones were US-based company so i hope you guys really enjoy this hope you got a ton of value out of it anyways guys thank you for watching and have a great day